All right, hello internet, it's Henry, and I am going to be solving a Gigaminx today. Um, I've been meaning to make a new video of me solving one of these. I solved, I had a video from when I was in college of me solving my Gigaminx, and I recently got into solving puzzles again, and especially I got this monstrosity. So, as you can see, there's like three layers here, like there's the middle, the outside, and then the, well, the middle this layer, and then the outside layer. This one has the middle, then one, two, three in the middle, then four. So five layers total. Um, so this is a, if there's no extra layer, it's a Mega Minx. This is a Giga Minx. Then there is a Terra Minx. And then this is my Peta Minx, but we're not dealing with the Peta Minx today. This is the old one I had in college. It's a brand that's not very great. Um, when I got this one, I decided to get a new one of these. So it would be ideal. Um, and this is the one we're going to solve today. I have it pre-shuffled a bit because it takes a, quite a while to get it, give it a good shuffle, but I'll mess around with it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make sure you ha knew what it would look like solved uh, before I started. And I'll even have a little handy dandy timer here to prove that I'm doing it for real. Even though I'm sure I could fake it and like reverse it, but why? I'm going to probably just be talking the whole time and just kind of explaining what we do and how this works. So this is pretty sufficiently scrambled. So here we go. So I don't expect to be going perfectly fast. Like I, being me, Henry, uh, I always solve the green, the lime green corner first because that's my favorite color. Um, to solve faster, I would, like, choose whichever one is the best one to start with, but with a puzzle that takes this long to solve, it's probably going to take about half an hour to solve solve this, like 25 minutes. It's just not worth it. <laughs> I'd rather um, just get used to solving the same colors all the time, because there's a lot of color pattern stuff you got to get used to, um, like which colors have which boundaries so like and when you need to be searching for specific colors so i just like always starting with the same ones so there we go green center is first that's the first objective next one is the next layer of centers so as i've been getting back into the puzzles i've been trying to just get better in general at just noticing little things so i used to always solve one of those corners at a time Oh, sorry, not one of the corners, uh, one of these next middles at a time, and I realized that there are ways that I could confidently do multiple at a time. Um, so that's what I do these days, actually. I, I actually kind of solve all of them at the same time, but I just leave this row available up there so that I can like safely pass um, pieces around where I want them to be. Um, which is kind of confusing if you don't know about these kinds of puzzles, but I can kind of explain in a bit. Like, just basically, I just need to make sure that I can always safely move pieces without um, screwing up something I've already done. And that extra row makes it so that I have somewhere to put those pieces safely, which is excellent. Okay. Let's get another pink one going. Got a few yellow ones ready to go. So yeah, I think um, this was one of the first strategies that made me get a, quite a decent amount faster at solving these because I can solve multiple parts at the same time, which is Cool. All right. Yeah, uh, I don't remember if I said this yet, but um, one of the difficulties with these kinds of puzzles is it's just hard to find the exact piece you need when you need it. Um, until you get later into the puzzle when you're just running out of pieces. I mean, like, you've solved most pieces into their final place, so it's not as hard to find them because they're already too many, and more of them are already just where they need to be. Um, 
this actually is the second time I made this video because I realized having this or overhead view kind of deal makes it a lot easier to <laughs> watch and understand what's going on. Cool. All right, I think we're going to start actually solving sides now, or middles, because I have a few that are almost done to begin with, so let's just do it. Uh, where's the gray core? There it is. Awesome. All right, so now we still have the, we've solved pink and gray. Now we just have to do orange, yellow, and blue. I will say one of the things I'm not a big fan of of these kinds of puzzles is that it has um, yellow and pale or pale yellow or whatever. And I get it when you have 12 colors and you want them to like have matching pairs. What matches with yellow? Well, a different, just pale, gross yellow. Just feels like there could have been a. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't really know what you could have done instead. It just. Not very aesthetically pleasing, but it works. It's quite, quite functional, I must say. All right, orange is done. Let's do yellow and blue. Yeah, I'm not perfectly efficient with how I solve. I definitely do extra moves now and then. Sometimes just to make sure that, like, a, like I'm not destroying an old thing while making messing with a new thing but just sometimes it's because i'm not amazing at these puzzles and anyways i know i'm blocking most of it with my hand anyways but i do not have a good camera setup for making it better so if you're here to watch this i hope that is acceptable all right whoopsies so we got all the the first layer of centers done so i used to just continue with the rest of the centers but then i learned that Actually, if I do the sides of the, that bottom layer, it's actually much faster because then you could manipulate those sides without worrying about damaging the top half of the puzzle, which is wonderful. Makes it a lot faster. It saves a ton of time in the later steps of the puzzles because solving the other sets of sides um, takes a really, it's the longest part of the puzzle. Um, and being able to skip all of that's fantastic. Though what I just did is kind of funky, so there we go. Okay, there's green and blue. Let's do green and pink. Or green and gray at the same time as green and pink. Why not? Yep, we're finishing green and gray first. Excellent. All right, green and gray is done. Green and pink is still waiting. Where's the last green and pink piece? There it is. Perfect. Now we just have green and orange left. Where's the green and orange center? Hmm. Sometimes, like, there it is. Um, a piece is so easy to find, I just totally miss it. And it is what it is. Like, and also, why did I just do all those extra steps? That's fine. All right, so now let's start. So we have the equivalent of the like the cross on a normal Rubik's Cube, the way that most people learn how to start that. And now we're going to work on the next layer. This, so we're going to do yellow and blue. There it is. And as we do these ones, we're also going to be fitting those sides with their corresponding corners to solve it even faster. Um, that lets us skip an algorithm. So there we go. First 
full like corner green blue yellow is done so let's do another one like yellow orange let's do yellow orange where's the yellow orange core there it is Oh, there's also the yellow orange corner, so I'll just move that over there for now. So where is the last one? Perfect. Wait, did I just lose the piece I just made? Crap. <laughs> uh, I totally just bugged up somewhere. I don't know how I did that, but uh, the... Oh, no, never mind. I thought I saw this first, not this. All right, so we have two of these done. All right, let's do gray orange next. Yeah, the the consistent problem with these kinds of puzzles, or let's actually do gray pink, is just making sure you don't destroy what you've already done, which is extremely hard. All right, gray pink. Where's the last gray pink? There it is. Excellent. Now where's the gray, pink, and green corner? I think it was down here. Nope. Gray, pink, and green corner. There it is. Cool. Let's put it in place. Excellent. All right. Let's do uh, orange and gray. Perfect, we already had one just ready, sitting there. And the corner is right there too, so where's the last gray-orange piece? There it is. <laughs> I accidentally rotated the corner, but that's fine. It's a much easier fix than doing extra algorithms and such. Oh, I totally just... <laughs> That's really inefficient. It's okay. I'm not going for perfection. I'm just going, man. Just going with the flow. All right. We have one last one. Uh, blue and pink. Which I just found both at the sides. And so now I just have to find the core. Oh, and I found the corner. Perfect. Easy peasy. There we are. Cool. Yeah, so, all right, so now we finish the entire bottom half. So now we do the top half uh, centers in, in a similar way to what I was talking about before with the other centers where I do like multiple at the same time by like leaving an empty like lane thing up. I do that as well here. Um, it's going to get jammed up a little faster when you're on the top because there's a lot less flexibility of where the pieces can be. But at least for the beginning, it's not a problem. We're doing the white one now. All right, white's ready. Let's finish up purple. Purple is all good. Let's do teal. Oh, I almost messed up a thing. Almost messed up the pink center. That would have been really annoying because that's going all the way back to the first few layers, and that sucks <laughs> when you have to do something like that. Oh, that's convenient. It's very satisfying when you like accidentally solve different chunks than you were meaning to solve. Or that too. Perfect. All right. So red is clear. All right. We haven't completely finished the the tan, teal, or whatever row, but I think that's a good place to start. Um, trying to get better at figuring out um, when you want to um, transition to fully solving each center um, to make sure I'm not wasting as much time. Again, I'm not like ever gonna like <laughs> go for like world records or anything. I do not have the dexterity for that, but I might as well like be decent. It's the same thing with me and juggling. I'm like I'm not an amazing juggler, but I like being 
better than I could juggle three balls. Um, okay. No, let's not do that. There we go. Only two more left, and I'm actually going to solve this one with an algorithm I know. There we go. The rest of the corners are done. So now we have to do the rest of the sides, and this step is the step that takes a while. However, I can do stuff where I solve multiple sides at the same time. So I'm going to solve, like right now, for instance, I'm going to solve yellow and white and purple and orange at the same time. Um, well, half of them to speed things up. So first I have to find the purple-orange center Though, in the first video of this I made, I kept calling it the core, the, the core of the certain color, and then I will do that. Alright, now I need the purple and yellow core. So just finding the freaking cores and stuff just takes a long time, and then I have to make sure they're oriented right. Like, I found the core fast, but I had to reorient it, so that takes a while. Like, this is definitely probably, like, the area where I could get so much faster, maybe? I don't know. The thing is, it just requires... At least to my knowledge, like so much brute force memorization to just know where all the pieces you need are, and I don't care about doing that. <laughs> I don't need to be the best. I just am having fun. It's kind of meditative for me to work on these because I already I know how to solve it. Um, I just need to do it. All right, where is the pale yellow and red? There it is. And I need purple white core. Purple white. There you are. Oriented that way. Excellent. Oh, I would like that timer running. Cool. I think I'm going faster than my last solve, but my last solve also had um, a very fortunate um, finale, you can say, that um, made it go a lot. Or I got to like skip um, one of the final steps, which is nice, because sometimes it just works out that way. All right, green, red core. is very very satisfying i've thought about like the ideas of like going for like specific colors first and that way it could maybe make it easier for me to solve um multiple at the same time but i don't i mean just n make it easier to figure out where the pieces are that i need but i don't know how well that would actually work i think um Putting the solved sides somewhere different might help, um, and sometimes I do that. I've been doing that a lot more. I'm just not doing that on the video right now because I am not 100% focused, as it may be obvious to some, because I am talking about the puzzles that I am doing while doing them. Cool. Alrighty, there we go. There's another one. Oh, and the next piece I need is right there. Perfect. So purple and orange, and blue and orange, and then I need uh, the blue and gray core. It's one of those things where, like, I know I totally like pass over like pieces or the pieces I need that are like right next, like right next to them, or my hands blocking it like all the time. But only so much you can do. I need the pale yellow or the pale and blue core which is right here perfecto pale yellow and pale green or pale yellow blue corner where are you? or puzzle puzzle you where are you still <laughs> Do 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 do. Man, I keep getting a lot of things that like can't be shortcutted, which is a pain. To... Another one. Sham. That sucks. There's actually like two different ways to shortcut it. So I think that this one can be done the other way. Where is that other green white piece? There it is. Um, you just have to make sure you don't screw it up. Yeah. There. 
Um, yeah. All right, I need the red pink core, which is there. Perfect. All right, next red pink. There it is. Now I need red white core. There. Oh, crap. I totally just did the wrong thing, I think. I don't know what I messed up, but I'm pretty sure I messed up something. Every now and then, like, you have to go to the left or to the right, and I just do the opposite one. <laughs> My brain is just a little fried. All right. So, gray, orange, or gray, yellow core. Especially, if, you know, I want to go decently fast. Purple, orange. Wait, what? No, I don't need purple, orange. I need blue, purple. There it is. Let's now get the other purple, orange. We're getting close to the end of this step. Um, blue, white. Blue white core, there it is. Perfect. Okay. Is this the final move? No, but we're getting really close. Um where's the green purple? Because I think that that's the one that's bugging us up. Yeah, there it is. Okay, green, purple, blue, white. What's very satisfying is when you solve like multiple pieces at this or parts at the same time, which um, I don't know if I've done that this solve, but I um, sometimes it just works out that way, which is just very satisfying. All right. And I think this is where I'm going to satisfy or solve three of them at the same time because this is the final bit. So I got to line them up. And cool, we have solved all the sides. So now we solve the rest of it, and it's, the rest of it is very similar to a normal Rubik's cube, um, just with a few slight variations which you get used to. Um, so I need the blue, orange, uh, wait, oh, here it is. The piece I needed was already there. Cool, oh, whoops, did that wrong. First bit done. Give me the give me the next one. All right. So gray and pink. No. Need it on that side. Cool. Line it up. Clap, clap, line it up, clap, clap. All right, let's do this one. Sorry for my random Lohican cheer. Um, gray, blue, orange. Gray, blue, orange. Or, no, gray, blue, gray is what I need. Okay, let's put that in place. Perfect. Have that whole thing done now. Let's do this side. Yellow, pale.
Okay, so that bit solved. Let's do the white bit. White, blue, red one first. Perfect. Doing this a kind of weird way right now, but I think it'll work. I'm trying to get better and better at like flexibly doing things. So like I'm solving like three bits at a time instead of like one or two. So I just solved a few things, but yeah, this is kind of tricky. Um, but this is the last of these chunks, so I always kind of do like the more boring default algorithms here to just finish because it's harder the more things that are in the way cool all right we want the timer back on because we're getting close to the end baby all right let's get those final bits in, and then we are on the final level. It's one. All right, we have everything solved except for the very top. So there's a few different algorithms that we need to do here. The first, um, get the, the star aligned. So all the dark green ones are now making a star on top. And then I have to get the sides on these these sides aligned. I don't have a freebie, unfortunately. So we're going to... Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. All the, the centers are aligned. Now I have to do all the corners. Wait. Yeah. Wait, oh no, did I just mess up? <laughs> Man, I'm messing up like crazy today. Um, yeah, we're gonna do this one. There we go, those two are aligned. We might have to do this one more time, yep. Cool. Now all the corners are in the right places, but these aren't oriented right. So now we just have to do this last algorithm a few times to fix that. So down, down, up, down, down, up, up. Boop. All right. And it's all solved. Well, thanks for watching. Got sub a third and sub 30 minutes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed.